Imagine you could click one button and clone an entire software application. Okay, we're not quite there yet, but this is definitely where the future is heading. And today I want to show you in this video my workflow for the currently fastest way to basically clone an entire software app application. And we're going to be using two tools for that. So one is copy coder, which you can see on the screen right now. And the second tool to actually build the application is going to be cursor. Okay, so let's go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is actually just get a screenshot of whatever app it is that we want to clone. So we could, for example, go into, let's say music, YouTube, YouTube music, and just take a screenshot of the front end here and save this. So this could be one option. And if we wanted to clone that, we could just be, you know, dragging in the, the screenshot here and then clicking on generate prompt. But let's, I want to show you another option too, which is also pretty awesome. So I can go on a site like dribble.com, which has a bunch of different designs, right? And then I can type in something like simple web app or maybe even um, dashboard. And then I can like go through these designs and just pick one that I like and that I want to build. So maybe I have an idea for some app that I want to build and I see a design which has like the similar components, which I think my final app should have. And then I'll just take that, right? So let's just go with the first one here for now. Here, this seems to be some sort of app about housing. So, okay, it has, it has like projects, analytics, reports. So it seems to be some, some app where you can, I guess, manage maybe your construction sites or something or like your different properties, something like that. Anyways, it looks good. So let's screenshot it. I'll screenshot it here and let's use this one now. So I'm going to take the screenshot here, put it into copy coder. And then what I can right now, there's only one option. It's web applications. There's going to be other things coming here, but I'm going to select this web applications and then just click generate prompt. And what it's doing now is basically analyzing the image very deeply and trying to like figure out all of the components within that image and like the colors and the styles. And based on that analysis, it will create a very detailed prompt. So we're going to see in a sec when it comes up with that prompt. Okay. So the prompt is here. You can see a generated prompt. If I scroll through it, this is the entire prompt here and it looks very detailed and it's an analysis of the screenshot that we just pasted. Okay, so before we copy this, let's go into cursor. So let's open up cursor here. And I already have an empty project opened up here. And what I want to do first is I just want to create a Next.js skeleton and also add some ShadCN components into it just so that we have like this framework that we can build on. So I'm going to paste these commands here, which so this one is to create the Next.js project. And this one is to add ShadCN components which are beautiful UI components. Okay, we just select default on everything. And then for the import alias, we're gonna um, do yes and hit tab there and then hit enter. So now it's installing the next JS stuff. Cool, now it's installing the Shad CN stuff. We're just gonna hit enter on everything too. Okay, now it's done. So we have our project skeleton here. So these are like all, it, this is like the framework and all of the dependencies and all of that. We don't need to care too much about it because anyways, we're gonna use AI to to code this. So I'm going to hit command I to open up the composer in cursor, which is the, you know, the AI feature to write all of the code. So now I'm going to head into copy coder again and get this initial prompt and copy it and go into the composer and let's paste that here and hit enter. So it's going to get straight to work and start building this application. Okay. So it says let's create the CRM dashboard with, so it's like a CRM dashboard with sales pipeline and budget analytics. And it started creating all of these components and all of these files already. It now asks, would you like me to continue with the remaining components? What you have to know is this first prompt is to generate the initial page of it. So basically only the thing that you see on the screenshot right now is what this first prompt does. And sometimes when there's a lot on the initial page, it will take like two or three prompts to actually do that. So in this case, it says, would you like me to continue with the remaining components? It basically, it couldn't create everything in one prompt because, you know, these AIs, they're like limited in how much of a token window they allow. And here it's limited. And all we have to do is just type, yes, would you like me to continue type? Yes. And then it continues to add the remaining components that are missing for this initial page. Okay. So it's creating the deals table component and the metrics component, and then it's updating the main page layout now. So now it says this completes the basic CRM, CRM dashboard implementation. 
once you see this, something like saying like that, it basically means that this initial page and the initial dashboard is completed. And it'll ask you, would you like me to explain any part in detail or make any adjustments? So for now, that's not needed. We just run this and have a look at it. So we're gonna run this with npm run dev to run this on our local machine. And it's gonna give you this link, which you can open up in your browser. And we're gonna have a look at what it says. Okay, so this is normal that there can be one or two build errors. It's with like this prompt is optimized but you still sometimes get one or two build errors, which is already a lot better than with than if you were to build this from scratch. And usually with just pasting the screenshot, it will fix this. So let's just paste this. And usually it's just like one error that, or like in this case, it's a missing component here that we need to install. So let's install this, let's hit this, and then we just install it here. Okay, uh, we need to add this too. So let's try this again at legacy peer depths. Okay, so we're gonna install this. Now this should work. All right, so this package is installed and it also updated something here. Okay, so let's accept this and then we're gonna head back and there we go. So now you see, okay, this is just a small hydration error, doesn't matter. You can see this dashboard, we just created basically a copy of this and it's like pretty much it's reactive and it looks great. It has, look, it even has these, like these deals here, like in the, in the original image, like these deals here and this dashboard. So it looks pretty awesome already, like a pretty good copy. But what you'll notice is that this is only this first page, right? The other pages don't work. If I click on it, they don't exist yet. So this is where we're going to go back into copy coder. And this is where the step two comes into play. We're going to hit generate page structure. And what this does is it analyzes the image again and extracts all of the different pages and basically creates a prompt so that you can create all of the other pages too. So, okay, this prompt here is now generated. We're gonna copy that for cursor and head back into cursor and just paste it into the composer again. So th what this prompt does is it's gonna let you create all of the other pages now. And because that's a lot of work, it also won't be able to do it in one prompt because again, the tokens are limited and it just won't be able to do it all in one go currently hope like in the future that's going to be possible but currently it's going to create it bit by bit but what this prompt does so well is that it lays it out for you so that it's just very easy you just only need to hit accept and as long as it asks you would you like me to continue just hit yes so just keep hitting yes when it asks you that and it'll just keep building for you until it's done here it in the first prompt it created the shared layout component and the projects page which are these this projects page, I guess. And then in the second prompt, it continued with the analytics page. So let's accept that and let's continue again. Would you like me to continue with the reports page? Yes. It even lists what will be included inside. Okay. Extensions page, continue with extensions page. Yes, continue. So yeah, this is just going to get faster and faster over time. I mean, it feels a bit like like we're in the beginning of the internet days where you like sometimes had to, you know, wait until the website is loading. This is like the same thing right now. It's just a bit slow with these new technologies, but it's just going to get faster and faster. So did it ask for, yeah, would you like me to continue with the company's page? Yes, continue with that. Okay, would you like me to create the people's page next? Yes. Okay, so it says let's create the people page to, to complete our route structure. So this is going to be the last one. Okay, so it gave us a bit of a summary here. This completes all the main routes for the CRM dashboard. Here's what is contained. And it asked me, would you like me to add any existing, but since it's completed now, it's fine. We're gonna go and check it out. Okay, so let's check out the different pages. Projects page, nice. Analytics page is there, perfect. Reports page, extensions, companies page, awesome, and people's page. Pretty cool. Well, <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, like we have an entire front end now by just copying, copy pasting a few prompts and just hitting yes all the time. I mean, okay. it some of the things here don't work yet. Sure. Like you cannot add a new project yet, but I can go in and, and just say, add this functionality. Same here, add a person. We can go in and, and add that, maybe add a settings page. This is absolutely crazy now that we can just copy a few prompts and paste it into cursor. And these prompts guide cursor in a way that it will create these pages, 
with very little build errors, very minimal build errors. If you were to build this yourself in cursor, you would get a lot more build errors. And yeah, this is absolutely insane because building something like this for a front end developer would in the past have taken them probably a few days to do this. But now we literally did this in less than 20 minutes. And I mean, I was talking when I just like go really fast and do this myself, I do this in under 10 minutes. So yeah, there we go here. Check out copycoder.ai and obviously go get a cursor and then just start trying this out. Take the copied application and keep building it from there. All right. Bye-bye.